Greetings and welcome everyone to Pinky Ponage. Today I plan on venturing forth into Devul and to Devul, Devul, Corilla Devil. Sorry, couldn't help it. I plan on venturing forth into Mr. Devil, into Mr. Domingo's little dilemma. Fifty bucks says this is going to be full of repercussions for us blowing his woman's head off, which, technically speaking, wasn't even his woman. It uh, the point is, wartime, marital scrambles, marital problems, let's just say I'm really hoping this doesn't come back to bite us in the plot. Let's get to it, shall we? If it isn't the angel of death himself, I thought I felt a chill in the air. <laughs> Cut the bullshit, Mango. I didn't come here to listen to you flap your jaws. Very well. I looked inside Francine's locket. The one you brought me up the... I know the one. Do you know what I found? A picture of yourself. Not me! That blue-eyed devil. The German that Francine took to her bed. I told you before, adultery is none of my concern. Ah. But this man concerns us all. He is head of military security in the industrial sector. Even now he hunts us, driven by his mad thirst for revenge. Kill a man's woman, you take that risk. She was my woman, not his! Shut it! She was a Nazi spy, Mingo! Now get a hold of yourself. This Nazi captain! They call him the Wolf. He hunts rebels for sport. It is only a matter of time before he finds his place and ties a rope around all our necks. Then we'll find him first. I already sent a team of my best men to hunt down this Wolf. If you go now, you can catch up with them. Fucking called it! Alright, let's get to this, shall we? So, first thing we've probably all noticed is that little... You're not gonna like this scent that's all over this one. It's all over this. Second thing you probably noticed is that it's not that far from us. Third part you noticed, we're already here. What's the score? We had that Nazi bastard trapped. But those damn snipers won't let us get close enough to finish the job! Why do... Looks like I'm heading up. Wait. I'm not... Okay. Right, well anyway, let's take a straight shot this time. In all honesty... Damn it. In all honesty, I probably could have done that jump better. No. Alright. So, let's see here. Jokes, commentary, fun la laws. What can I do? Seriously? I could skip out on the alarm by going into the safe house? Yeah, that's logic for you. Oh hey, what do you know? And my guys are complete shit, as usual. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hasta la vista, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, the main antagonist for this mission. I know, I know, it's not very uh, rooted to me. Oh, come on, that should have blown the tower right up. Like that.
I miss? How did I miss? one of the coolest effects in the game. <sighs> Smell that freedom. Now I just have to outrun a level 3 alarm. <clears throat> Which I'm sure is a lot harder normally, but let's be honest. Not really that difficult. Seriously? Well, time to find out if they really are that stupid. Anyway, let me think here. I don't really have a lot to give you guys as far as jokes go this time. Or at least for this first half. I'm still waking up and I apologize for that. Plus, it's like, what, midnight here? Perfect. I'm afraid all the good jokes are hidden. Out of sight. And that's the first time I've ever done that. That's the first time I've ever completed one of these missions and not just run Looks for the like hills. Ah. <sighs> Now I have to take up the annoying task of um, finding my way back. Well, let me think here. All right, guys, I can. I'm gonna wrap this episode here. Uh, this will be one of. This is. Um, let's see. This is part two of Devlin's. Huh? Not part two of Devlin. La 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 la. Okay. God, what is that wordplay? Alright, guys. This has been part two out of three of Lady Troubles. Courtesy of Cuella, Cuella, Cuella Davil. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Ciao!